Well, <coughs> welcome my dazzling darlings. This is Iso Gem here, and today we're gonna be continuing playing the query. So, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I've actually played this because a lot have happened, and also, what am I saying this for? You basically, I'm probably gonna post this video literally during the whole thing. So basically, you'll be watching this, but no, but then, never mind. Okay, so basically, let me put some context in. So, at this video, I'm recording this at another time because a lot of, I was playing some other video games before I finished this. So, now that we're here, we are going to end this. So, let's get right into the video. We are going to end Hackett's Quer the Query. Bricks and Mortar. There's Chris. What the fuck? Uh, you're on a tree. Why am I on top of a fucking tree? Because you were trapped on an island. Laura! Well, at least he's freed. Blood. Yes, blood. How the hell am I gonna get down? That will be it! Ow, that's gonna leave a mark. Has to answer. Where the hell am I? You tell me. You're back on the island. They're wearing underwear despite all this is kind of impressive. Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. Oh no! Oh no! Emma stole this clothes! <laughs> because we never actually gotten a look, to be honest. So let's just take a look around. So we have a choice to go back there. Can we go back up? No. Can we go through here? We can! the pier. Is there anything here in the pier that's important? Nope. Alright. That uh, answers my question. So we would have gone up there either way. But we would have missed a valuable clue. The police car. Even in the dark. Very pretty. But oh my goodness, this is actually driving me a lot, driving me nuts. But if I recall, basically the Hag of Haggis Query is Silas's mother. And so basically, Caleb and Kaylee set Silas's 
Silas free, not knowing the consequences of their action. Oh, hello. Oh my god. <laughs> really? You're gonna wear her hat? Oh my god. <sighs> Despite everything that happened, it's still a beautiful night. Okay, so we're down at the pier. Oh, dear. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, let's stay. Because, honestly, we might actually be safer on the island now. Because the werewolves can't get across the river. So, we Max, uh, Chris, uh, let me explain. Chris is a lot safer on the island than going to shore. Because... Now that he's no longer a werewolf, now he has to deal with the fact that he might actually get cursed again, or worse, killed. So the best thing for him to do is for him to stay on the island. The white whale. A pound of fish. Oh. Ooh, I remember about that. Mm. Alright, and there's the tarot cards as well. Some of them we never actually looked in. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Back to the w Hackett's Quarry Lodge. Now we have to literally stay there in the night. The table, help me. He has one hand! Give him a break. Okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Uh, yeah, it will. Great. Just like the cartoons. Well, you ain't wrong there. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. Really? And die of hypothermia? No. <sighs> or swim right, to well, the island, now that Chris is now. okay. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Yeah. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. Looks like we're going to the attic. Is there anything left down here? Honestly? Is there anything down here that we can still use still? Like, surely even them have left something behind. Is there anything left here? We go in some of these rooms. Nope, looks like we have no choice but to go up, whether we like it or not. I've already forgotten all the characters' names. <laughs> okay. Abigail, Dylan, Emma, Caitlin. Then there is Max. Max. Laura, Ryan, and Chris. Who was the last one? Oh my god, I forgot the last one. On the rabbit hole. Okay. Human fire, watch your step. Pieces of silver. A fool's errand.
I forgot his name. What's his name? Ugh. Helping hand, we kind of the white whale. Okay, that's what we already checked. Pound the flesh. That's when he got attacked. Oh, seriously, which one is it? Nick! Nick was his name! Yeah, it's Nick. Okay, my bad. Had to- I forgot their names! I was playing Resident Evil. <laughs> my bad. I can't get up here?! God. Okay, fine. Back a track! Uh. Yep, this thing's working. <laughs> Going up. Alright, get it at a vantage point. Could this be a useful clue? Huh. We never fully checked up here, so I kind of want to take a look around. A dog tag? Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? The, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. Take a look around because this is a golden opportunity to see just what exactly we miss. What's this? Jeez, I'm see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. The camp letter? Whoa, 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 whoa. Chris Hackett is asking campers' parents for additional donation to help with the law's renovation costs. Isn't that what camp fees are for? Where else would that money be going? To lawyers, maybe? To prevent them from actually... To hire lawyers so that way the podcast would have been closed down. Because the podcast... There was a group of... There was a group of people who were doing a podcast about... Hackett's query that involved with the disappearances. But apparently those disappearances were involved with werewolves, and the werewolves were... How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Large and overbearing, this really old painting of Setupus Hackett holds pride of the place in the large chimney column. Nostalgic. I, I'll take it. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> <laughs> Still joking in a time like this. Let's keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. Yeah, because there's some areas here that we need to... We must not overlook. There wasn't here that we never got a chance to explore. Whoa. You think they would have hired a maid? Then again, we did kind of kill the maid of the family. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it there. What's this? Rip Ian. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Chark, chalk or doodle. 
Remember the deceased cat mascot Ian. From the look of the drawing, Ian was a she. Though nobody got to meet him this year. Septimus Hackett was running the show when the Hackett's fortune started to crumble. He was responsible for closing down the quarries all those years ago after failing on hard times. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, it was a sheep. The cam mask got some things slaughtered him down in the store. He was a sheep! Hindsight. Sounds about right. I thought he was a dog! We have a camp mascot? Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Or maybe he got eaten by a werewolf! But that's actually unexpected. So the mascot was a sheep? Lambs for the wolves. That actually makes a lot of sense now. Alright. Let's keep looking. That actually makes a lot of sense now. Lambs for the slaughter. It's basic. Basically, the concept of the lamb and the wolf is a reference. You use like, like wolves and sheep's clothing or basically figures he's like lambs for the slaughterhouse so basically they were trying to use a sheep to probably using a sheep for like saying that we're not the bad guys we're good people but but um oh hi the high priestess lovely but yeah it's but yeah so basically that's kind of like a reference saying in a way just a little reference saying that i thought I get round up. I can't see. Ooh. There's an area on the other side of that, but how do I get there? Let's keep looking around this area just in case. I want to fully explore this entire area just to be on the safe side in case we overlook something. Dylan. for the night we're gonna have to check everywhere because we not might get another opportunity like this because this might be because this is the final chapter so we are not gonna have a chance to actually fully explore this place so where the fuck are the stairs for the upstairs What the fuck? How how do we get up here? Is there like a stairwell over here that I overlooked? Oh. There was. clock oh hello what's this what's this you're telling me a vhs tape? trail cam footage trail cam footage it's like they're looking for something soul silas yeah uh, in chris's surveillance room he's storing all the footage i think you might be right Nice! 
place. We found the last piece of evidence. All right, let's take a look at this. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, R.I.P. microphone. Well, that was a dud. There's a thing over here. What's this? A ring? Where have I seen this emblem before? It's scripted of jewelry. Discard of jewelry thrown off of this couple. These are shit. It belongs to Bobby Hackett. The campers never knew how Chris killed an eighth the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. That's right. Nobody knew about... Nobody knew about a lot of things about the, ha the Hackett's family, to be honest. What is it? A ring with the crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Thanks for the comp thanks for the confidence. These are actually quite valuable clues, but what does the what is the ring for? Bobby Hackett! The woman that we killed! Or was it someone else? Uh, I couldn't have forgotten, honestly. Well, we explored everywhere. I guess it's time to just... Prepare, to atta prepare for attack. Or should we check the office? Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you make it. Really? Here to lead the way. Love meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hackateers. He doesn't know the song, does he? Two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> Showtime, motherfuckers. Oh dear. I probably should have checked the office. Oh, Jacob! <sighs> Fuck this whole night. Uh, you're the one who started this. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. Like she said, it's a, it's a one-time fling. Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. Should we go find the others? No! We're s no! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. Caitlin. What the? Oh! That was crazy. 
creepy. The bullets won't have any effect on them. It's not silver. Run. Run. What the fuck was that? It's Caitlin. Holy shit. Well, we gotta let her in. Well, we can't. The office door's locked from the outside. But there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but what? Hand her your silver bullet! The window. The beam. Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her if she passes. If she passes. The beam. We have to go to the beam. I'm sorry, whoever that is. Please don't let that be, Nick. We have came too far to lose now. Lure him away. Oh my god, please tell me Dylan will be okay. Oh, he is! No. You go run. I'll go over there. Go. I'll be fine. Come on. I'll be fine. It's silver. Hey, I'm here. Thanks. Oh! One shot. Bam! Woo! Nick?
He might not be dead. You ready? You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. I just hope it's not Nick. That's all I gotta say. Alright, here we go. On the road. Laura. Inquisit what exactly? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. Ouch. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Well, you're not wrong there. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. If that is true. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Fair enough. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him? Oh! We found him! Oh. Ooh. oh, mock me! They're all knocked out! I'm taking the wheel! Travis! Travis, Travis get it together! Darling, wake up! Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, just get down. Kill it. Where did he go? The shadow just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. Nice! Let's look around. Are you crazy? Determined to the very end. Are we there yet? We're here. You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Well, this is it, everybody. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. That's where we're going. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? We need him alive. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Yep. Let's end this. Let's fucking do this. Go team!
To think she was once a camp counselor, now she's a werewolf hunter. Love it! Wait, Caleb was bitten first. So wouldn't that mean Nick would be cured by now? So there's literally no reason to kill Silas. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but... And I was out here, and she was something else. The hag of Haggis oh. Quarry. The woman, the old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Silas. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible, who you're talking about. I saw her too, in the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. The hag of Haggis Quarry! Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. And she's the woman who's been asking us for help! Some say she never left. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. She be wanting us to prevent his death. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? Tell them. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. For a reason! Yes, what she done was unforgivable. But she he was locked in a cage for a reason! For a reason! He was a dangerous threat! He had the power to turn people into werewolves! Your niece Kaylee unleashed a bloody werewolf! And now, ever since, your entire family is now dead! Because of that one choice! Now, they have to pay for the consequences! And instead of owning up to it, now, we're trying to sweep it under the rug! But then, like, nothing happened. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. As revenge! That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. It's it. This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Listen. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Sorry, that was... 
close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. They're right on, they're on the right track. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. He's near. That must be it. Careful. on you. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. The curse has been lifted, but now Travis has no family, no nothing, I think. Oh, she's mad. She's mad. She's furious. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. You lie to me, you know. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's going to be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Nobody's a hero.
of my affection. Jacob was free from the hack and survived the night. Nick survived the night. Nick survived the night, and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's world of curse was lifted. Oh, Silas was the one who attacked him! Who knew? Abigail and I got made it safely by Chris Hackett's surveillance. I must survive the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. That's good. Now I survive the night by taking refugee from Caleb in the kitchen. Caleb survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those affected by his lineage. Oh. Then shot Caleb. Sorry, Caleb. And Travis. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that haunted his family for six years. But now he's the only survivor. Ryan was cursed of the werewolf affection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver show, curing every infected person who survived the night. Silas. Laura can silence the boy in his nest. The curse of Hackett's query is broken. Oh. Looks like there's gonna be a lot of questions. Where's the police? Psycho teens charged after summer camp massacre. <laughs> Psycho teens, one of my favorite punk bands. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do they mean by Psycho teens? Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic or not. I was being sarcastic. Okay, that actually is very on I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life. That is the worst way to end a bloody video game. A podcast? You unlock the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows the three opportunities with a single playthrough of the playable character's death and try again to save them. Use three lives wisely. No. Thank you. But that was so dumb! That was so dumb! Basically... Oh my god. That's just so dumb! So in the end, all of them got arrested! What the muck? Okay, okay, um... So basically, what I could gather from this ending is... Not only did everyone survive, but now they're being pressed charges?! And what about Travis? Did he get punished for his family's crimes? Un. Be. Mocking. Leavable. I'm just. Uh, wow. I, I am. I'm. I'm mad. That was not the ending I was expecting. Uh, I love the game. I love the concept. But the ending? Come on, even you all could do better than that. That was disappointing. I don't know about y'all, but I'm leaving before I actually get even more lift. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. That was cool. Stay shining, my guys.